loving every single minute of fashion week from the makeup to the frocks, the runways and those super fashionable parties. Melbourne Fashion Week has delivered the goods, but it wouldn't be complete if we didn't send Denise Scott along <laughs> to learn just what it takes to be a module. Denise Scott here, Melbourne correspondent for Studio 10, and here I am at Melbourne Fashion Week. I'm going to be chatting to a few models and uh, finding out if I can strut the stuff myself. It's so lovely to be talking to you. Thank you, it's lovely to be here with you, Denise. And did you know that my middle name actually happens to be Denise? I knew we'd have a lot in common, not just our height and good looks. But I feel better when I'm dancing, yeah, yeah. Stefania, when did you start modelling? I started at the age of 16, but it took me several years to actually break into the industry and get my first ever paid job. Really? Yes. Why? Why did it take so long? I mean, look at you. Oh, thank you. Um, no, I think the size had something to do with it. Whoa, 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 whoa! When you say size, what do you mean? I think the modelling industry is sort of notorious for having very slim figures, which is great, but for a very long time they didn't have models of other sizes. Ten years ago when I first started, it was seldom seen models of size 10 or 12 or 14 in Australia, so it's quite new, really. Did you ever think, I'll starve myself because you loved it that much? I did. When I was 16, 17, 18, I often would eat very little and I tried to fit into that stereotype of what a model is for a long time and I've finally come to the point where I just accept my body now and the industry accepts it too, which is fantastic. Outside of modelling, what do you love doing? I like playing guitar, I attempt to sing. Do you want to sing us a bit? Go on. Oh my gosh. Come on, come on. I did say attempt to sing. Yeah, yeah, do you want to attempt to sing? Elle écrit cela sa table et son café refroidi. Quatre mètres infranchissables, un bar un après-midi. Mmh. 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 <laughs> We're doing it. You can do a duet. Exactement. Au clair de la lune. Do you know that one? No. So there's been a competition. So Melbourne Fashion Week and Bella Model Management put together a model search. You were a judge? I was a judge on it, yes. And one of the hardest jobs I've had <laughs> in my modelling career. We had an incredible array of people arrive. Uh, we picked six out of the hundred that arrived. And also, because we had such trouble picking, we also picked others that got signed to the agency as well. I can't wait to meet these unsigned models, even though I was in the competition myself. And didn't get picked up. We have great diversity. We've got... What are you saying when you say great diversity when you look at me? Well... What do you mean? So age diversity is a huge thing that we're pushing in the industry now. I think it's something that's... I think that's way too harsh. Age diversity. I'm sensitive. I'm sensitive about that. Well, here I am backstage, Melbourne Town Hall, and I have found the models from the Bella Unsigned Model Search. At least I'm suspecting you lot of models. I don't know why I say that. <laughs> Congratulations to the four of you. Zoe Nanuob, Bingbo Copper. I can remember names, not for long. Here we go. Is this a beginning or a development for you in the modelling world? I'd say a development because I was trying to get into the model industry like ever since I was 16, say. Um, but a lot of the agencies say, oh, we've got too many dark skinned women. And so it kind of put me down in a way. And I thought maybe there's no hope for people like me. But thank God for uh, Bella. I work as a circus performer. Work as a circus performer? Snap! You know my husband. That's what he did. <laughs> yeah. what you... I, think my, I think my father knows, knows your husband. Now, hang on a minute, everyone. This is getting really exciting. The last thing I expected was for my husband, John, to know your father. Isn't Australia... So, who's your father? Colin Bogars. 
Colin Bogas is your father? Oh, he's such a cool guy. Hello, Colin. Uh, he's the coolest guy. Percussion. This is... Oh, uh, anyway, it's got nothing to do with the modelling competition, okay. but but that is awesome. Will you say hello to Colin sure. for me? Sure. All right. And now I think we're going to do some strutting of our stuff. inspirational time here and maybe I'm a bit delusional but by golly I think I've got a career ahead of me as a model who knows that was brilliant and you can check out the Bella unsigned models strutting their stuff throughout Melbourne tomorrow at 1 p.m. at Town Hall